Good evening, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Fred and Friends. I got a great show for you guys tonight. We are definitely going to clown around because I have on tonight some of the coolest guys and, and one of the coolest teams, I think, out there. Um, I, ju I just absolutely love these guys, man. The Psycho Clowns Posse. Now, you know, <laughs> I, it's hard to explain these guys. They are. I mean, they're just absolutely hilarious. Hilarious. I mean, uh, I guess I real quick to uh, Ryan Courtney, Kenny Stewart, and Alex Twitchy Gonzalez is which he is another one of the players um, that I, I plan on having him on here sometime. And Ryan Courtney and Paul Farrell, what a great bunch. And and Stephen Snow, Stephen Snow, the first one in tonight. So you guys are just absolutely great. And I appreciate so much you watching. We're going to talk tonight to these guys uh, from the Clown Posse. They are uh, just great, great, great people and great players. And they've built an organization that is really, really, really cool. Um, you're gonna, you're definitely gonna love hearing from these guys. They're, uh, they're a kick in the pants, to say the least. To say the least. Uh, we'll, we'll get more into some of their antics, what they do on the field uh, when we, we pull them up here. Uh, but first of all, real quick, we got the Montrester Classic. It's coming up real quick, and that uh, matter of fact, coming up this weekend, and it's at Paintball Sports in uh, Newburgh, New York. And, uh, you know, all the teams that are um, going to be involved in that, I wish them all luck. I especially uh, want to wish good luck to the Ottoman Aces and the Joker and the NYPD paintball team, Tim F. and Lou. Um, these guys, you know, especially the, the NYPD, you know, these guys have put together a team in their first tournament they had with us. The first 10 man, and that was at the um, New York Classic a few months ago. And these guys are great. And and, and they've had a That was their first, too. They just put this team together, got out there, and, man, they did good. So I'm looking forward to them doing real good in this tournament coming up because now they've had a chance to practice together. So I think that's pretty cool. And uh, I am definitely looking forward to see who wins this tournament this coming weekend. One more time, that's the Montrester Classic. Uh, that's Frank and Jennifer Montressor um, are holding it. And it's out there in Newburgh, New York at Paintball Sport. Jerry Bronsfield, actually, is what it is. And then um, I got to congratulate Scott McDonald. They had a drawing. Um, Adam Garner and Daryl Trent uh, gave him a marker. Uh, I gave him one of my Hermesis headbands. And uh, they had a drawing. Uh, the money goes to the Hermans, which is a kid's team, okay? And they're they're saving their money up and everything like that because they want to do the World Cup in Orlando in November. So anyhow, um, I donated one of my Hermesis headbands, and uh, Adam and uh, Daryl gave them a marker, and they raised $2,000. So that's another $2,000 they got towards going there. So I want to thank everybody that, that jumped in that raffle for that. And uh, I was very, very happy that I had the chance to do that. That I think was very, very cool. And then, uh, and I also got to mention the Master Blasters. I wish them nothing but luck. Kevin Donaldson, um, they're also playing because normally they ref when it's at Jerry's Field. They have they ref the World Cup. I mean, the, I'll call it the Classic now. Um, but they, uh, they ref the New York Classic. A couple months ago, and they're the best refs out there. But Jennifer and Frank have their own refs, so the Blasters are going to get to play. Now, they're going to be playing on their home field, so you guys look out. These guys know that field up, down, and sideways, and uh, they play hard. So I wish you a lot of luck. And then next week, I'm going to have uh, – everybody knows I love the PBSL, okay? PBSL is cool. I'm one of the sponsors of the PBSL, and next week we're going to have a, a bunch of the guys that run the PBSL. We're going to have them on, and we're going to talk about upcoming events and everything that they've got. So that's something I'm really, really looking forward to. So let me give my shout-outs real quick so I can pull these guys up. And uh, <laughs> somebody said, honk, honk. I love it. That's another thing we're going to talk about. These guys, these guys are a kick in the pants. I mean, uh, they all have horns out there. We'll talk about when I bring them up. Let me give my shout outs real quick so we can do that. Uh, I start every week with Mr. Tim Schloss. Tim has Gateway Paintball there in St. Louis. And Tim's where the WCPL is going to be held. And it's the last WCPL event of the year. 
and it's October 15th and 16th, and I am so looking forward to that. We've got all kinds of great people and, and some good teams coming in for that. That is going to be a lot of fun. You're going to have a lot of legends at that uh, tournament because, you know, Tim, Tim and Terry and, and uh, the son Greg work very, very hard on that field. And uh, it's it's just terrific. And Bill Bailey's going down there and helping him a lot to uh, to build the new fields. I think you guys, are, the people that are going to show up there, are going to absolutely love it. And if you're not going to go play there, come out there, meet everybody and, and cheer them on. Uh, like I say, you know, that's what makes paintball better is when we all get together and go show our support. Same thing for the Montressor Classic. Get out there. And even if you're not going to play, go out and support the teams that are there. You know, let's show people that that uh, we're all united in paintball as a family. I think it's really cool. Then I got to say hi to Dan and John Colby. Uh, they've been my sponsors uh, for over 30 some years. Started out Air America. Now it's Immortal Air. And uh, very, very, very cool guys and uh, very proud to use their product. I think Immortal Air is uh, probably one of the best air systems out there because I watched over the years just exactly how hard and tedious Dan is when he puts together a regulator. It's just, uh, it's amazing. It, it really is. Uh, Ryan Courtney, grow the sport in a positive way. I'm with you a thousand percent, Ryan. And, you know, and Ryan, you, believe it or not, you know, you guys, uh, you guys work really, really hard to support uh, the sport. You guys work. I mean, I see you guys online all the time talking good about it. You know, every time somebody does that, Somebody that, that's not involved with us sees that, and it just it makes it that much better. It, it honestly does. And we've got uh, Jeff Thompson from up in Canada watching us now. Jeff got to play with uh, the band in New York. Heck of a guy, heck of a player. Him and Martin enjoyed it. I cannot wait to play alongside those guys again. They were just absolutely terrific. Then I got to say hi to Mr. Bud Orr. Now, not much I can say about Bud, you know. I mean, Bud has done so much in the past, and Bud is still out there banging away for paintball. And as a matter of fact, you're going to get to see uh, Bud tonight. Bud's going to be on our show tonight with us. Um, he's, I'm a little jealous. He's got his clown uniform, you know. Um, I was going to go rent the clown uniform to wear, but, you know, everybody tells me I look enough like a clown without the uniform. So here I am. Duh. But it is what it is. I can live with it. I can live with it. Uh, barely. Uh, and then I got to mention Tom K. Tom K was my second uh, marker sponsor. He has uh, had air gun designs. The Automag uh, sponsored me for many, many years. And then uh, Rainy and Juvie Boucher. I mention them every week also because they had paintball news back in the day. Something I, I, I truly miss nowadays. Back in the day, you could go out to any field. Two times a month, you can pick up this paper and it would tell you what just happened, what was coming up, where the tournaments were, where the fields were located, what was being sold, what was new, what was old. It, it was like the Bible of paintball. And uh, they did so much for paintball back in the day. And I just have to mention them every week. And then Randy Camilla. Randy Camilla was the editor for APG back in the day. He gave me my very first cover shot. I will always be grateful to Randy for that. Jerry Braun. Jerry Braun had Paintball Sport magazine back in the day. Now he has Paintball Sport Field. And uh, the field, the Ponderosa out there, is, is just a terrific field. That is the oldest woods ball field in the United States, so I am told. So um, that is one heck of a great field, I got to tell you. It's, it's terrific. And then I got to say hi to Ross Alexander. Ross Alexander was my first marker sponsor, Line SI. I still got my original Bushmaster. I played my very first professional tournament, uh, still 15 man. We played it. It was at, uh, I believe it was at Jim Lively's Masters. There was two tournaments uh, back in the day. You wanted to do Jim Lively's Masters or Jerry Braun's World Cup. Man, they were like, uh, they were like family reunions. It, it was just absolutely that cool. I loved it. And then I say hi to my two young gun friends on the Hermans, Mark Gong Jr. and Jaden Gong. Uh, Mark Gong's kids, uh, great little players, just absolutely terrific, terrific. And uh, I just uh, have to say hi to them every week, along with Gino from Belkin. And the reason I say hi to Gino from Belkin is because Gino does an awful, awful lot of stuff behind the scenes for paintball. 
you know, he doesn't go out and brag about it or, you know, toot his horn or anything like that. But the guy does an awful, awful lot for paintball. And that's why I have to mention him every week. He's uh, he's really a really good guy. So without further ado, I think I'm going to start clowning around. I think I'm going to bring up some of the coolest guys that you'll probably ever want to meet. Um, their uniforms, uh, can you see them on the field? Pretty much. <laughs> but I got to tell you, one of the nicest group of guys you'd ever want to meet. And uh, not just nice guys. These are some damn good players. Take my vote. You hear their horns out there. When they're getting ready to get down on you, you hear squeak, squeak, squeak all over the place. You better either run, duck, or start shooting because these guys are coming for you. So first of all, I want to bring up uh, the gentleman who jumps on with me every week, my co-host. Please welcome Mr. William Bailey. What's going on, Billy? Oh, oh. Same old, same old. It's going to be fun <laughs> clowning around with these guys tonight, yep. huh? Yep. I haven't seen these guys in a while. Oh, they're just a terrific group. And, uh, and, and you know, we get the pleasure. I get the pleasure of playing with uh, Gumby in the, the yep. St. Louis tournament now. He's uh, yep. Gumby is also a member of the band. And yep. uh, very, and very we, cool. Him and Mean Gene and Bud will be making the trek from California. Absolutely. Yep. Yeah, the four of us. Yeah, me too. Yep, yep. Yeah, we're the Cali contingent. That's for darn sure. And uh, <laughs> definitely looking forward to it. It's going to be cool. So what do you say we meet some of these guys? Yep, bring them on. I'm going to start with a very good friend of mine. And uh, a guy, I'll tell the story once we get the show going about how I actually met this guy. And uh, it's an incredible story. You're going to want to hear it. So please, everybody, welcome Stephen. Gumby, Santa Sola. How close was I, Gumby? Pretty close. Pretty close. Yeah, see, if I was real close, I'd have got four beeps. Oh, well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then another friend of mine who is a new inductee into the uh, Clown Posse. Please, everybody, welcome Zach Arbuckle. Ah, great picture of you, Zach. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I love clowning around. Uh, and we're we're privileged privileged tonight to uh, I've never met this gentleman. I am very, very much looking forward to this. The well, captain. Okay. The captain. No, it's perfect, the captain. The captain of the Psycho Clown Posse, please. Now I, I got his name down pat, Rojo. <laughs> yeah. You guys laugh. I've been practicing this for 45 minutes, okay? Please, everybody, welcome Rojo. Rojo. Hey, everybody. What's happening? How you doing this evening, my friend? Doing good. How, I just got back from work, so, you know. I'm, hey, I'm, we appreciate you. I, I, I knew you were jammed tonight. We appreciate you jumping on. Oh, thank you. Thank you for having us. Yeah, my pleasure. I got one more clown that I want to bring up. Uh, he, everybody probably knows this guy. He clowns around all the time. Even when he doesn't have the uniform on, he's clowning around. Please, everybody, welcome Mr. Bud Orr. What's Hi, going guys. On, bud? <laughs> hey, you guys are not going to get off on me tonight. That's <laughs> uh, I love it. Man, you know, I got to tell you, you guys, um, your group, uh, I'm going to start real quick I, where I met Gumby. Uh, a couple of years ago when I got back into paintball, about three years ago, Gumby came up here for the North-South game. Well, obviously, uh, I hadn't played paintball in quite a few years, so my auto mag, it was frozen. The bell was frozen up. So uh, him and Roman came over. They jumped in. Roman gave me a marker to go play the game with. Well, Gumby sat there and worked on my marker for probably two hours instead of going out and playing. Now, I never met this guy. This is the first time I met him. He jumped right in, and uh, we couldn't get the marker fixed. It was just froze up. But he worked on that thing for two hours, everybody. That shows you the, the type of people that belong to this organization. Sounds These like guys Gumby. are uh, extremely, extremely good for paintball. And Gumby, I still appreciate that. No problem. I still have to fix that marker. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm I, I left it, my butt. I left it frozen for you. It just needs <laughs> Loctite. 
No, I just it, it. I'll fix it. Just I just need it. Need it for a weekend. That's it. Yeah. Well, you know, I got a little nervous when you guys hooked it up between two cars to pull the valve out, but you know. <laughs> a little out. finesse. That's all. <laughs> but it worked. But it, it worked. worked. Yeah. Rojo. Gumby will get it done. He'll get yeah. it done. Yeah. Rojo, you're the captain of this uh, group. Am I correct? That, in saying I'm the, that? New, the new guy. I'm still a, I'm still adjusting to that. That's that's still I'm I'm adapting to that, but I'm yeah, I'm the new I'm the new one. Yes, sir. Yeah. So Wait, is it like go. a psych, is it like a psychological beatdown or something or what? <laughs> Because <laughs> I've talked uh, to know, these guys. Yeah, I walk away. <laughs> you know? I, no, but, no, but there's uh, uh, I knew Rock and knowing, I don't know, knowing what has to be done, it's a little bit of pressure because I do know that this has to keep going and it has to get out there. It has to go far and wide. So there's a little bit of, you know, we, we don't necessarily have to beat Dynasty at the next tournament. We just have to get out there and meet as many people as we can, as far as wide as we can. And that's going to be a, that in and of itself is kind of, I don't know. We got this though. Don't, don't get me wrong. We got this, but yeah, I, I'm, I'm the captain. I'm new to this. And so, so bear with me though. You know, there'll be a adjusting period. Hey, let, let me tell you, you couldn't be the head of a better group of guys. I, I really, that I know. That I, know. I mean, I, I, I've known, I've known Zach for a while. I've known Gumby for a while. And I've known uh, Bud for a long while, <laughs> like 36 years. So, uh, you you know, what you guys actually do for the sport, I think, is just terrific. Uh, the first time I went out on the field and I, I seen, <laughs> you know, Gumby has his suit and everything on like that. It just cracks me up. You know, you would think, wow, you know, you're not going to be able to play. Everybody can see you. But you know what? That guy goes out and spanks him. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm amazed at how much I get away with wearing yellow. I, I'm surprised at how many people will come up to me and say, I didn't see you. I'm like, that's, I gave you every opportunity. <laughs> Tell them the really Gilly did. Sue story. <laughs> Go ahead, yeah, Zach. so I'm amazed what I'm allowed to get away with so far. So I love it. Go ahead, Zach. Well, Rojo was the command uh, commander, the, the guy running the entire side at um super game <laughs> oh I, I i sorry about that everybody i could have done better i had that was that was a good game and i love that field but man that i i gotta go back there one of these days when i'm not dying let's put it that well, way he was he was standing out in the open and a guy in a ghillie suit walked up to him pointed at somebody on our team and it's like i'm gonna take this guy out oh that was Clover, Clover. He's telling me Clover's right there. I'm like, I know, dude. I know. Shoot him. I'm like, I, I, I can't. He's a fellow clown. Who are you? So I shot him instead. But he was, <laughs> he looked great. He had, you know, he had the ghillie suit on and everything looked very, you know, intimidating. <laughs> Somehow That's or another, he just didn't connect the giant yellow clown in the middle of. The You're gonna be amazed at how many times that happens too. Or I think people think we're refs. You know what? You know, I was just going to say that too. Yeah, I, I I don't like that, but I think some sometimes people think that. But you know, by now they should know the difference. We definitely we're not we're not quiet about what we do. We're not we're not trying to hide. Well, you know, I I look at it this way: if you think the ref's out there with a marker, he deserves to be shot anyhow. You know, I mean, that's all there is. To Especially it. when he's shooting at you, even if it's with a pump. <laughs> Thought, if he's pumping at you, you know, with a cocker, you should be like, I might not be a ref. Yeah. <laughs> but you know about them cockers, don't you? It's a horn that, it's a horn that confuses them. No, yeah. that confuses everybody, even me. I, I, I just think they thought the refs were doing a dead man's walk. Yeah. 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 I got to tell you, when you hear a bunch of those out there, it freaks you out. <laughs> I love it. That, I got to tell you, it just, I mean, you're just like, what the heck? That, that horn is a weapon in the right hands. Yeah. And, and it, you know, you guys. Is. It's a you rallying guys, call. Yep. You know, just like Gumby, you know, he has the paintball family. You know, he is, um, he's one of those guys, his wife, Julie, and his kids. Oh, yeah. They're just the persona of paintball. Uh, they just, uh, 
they travel together and, oh, and they're just all so polite and, and good, you know. It's got to be from Julie, I, I'm pretty sure. But, I, uh, I relate to that pretty good. <laughs> I do a little bit with the fam, too. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and, and his kids are so tall, too. When I was down there, um, I was down to San Luis Obispo, and he introduced me to his kids. And I mean, these youngsters are taller than I am. I had to look down and see if I was standing in a hole. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love his kids. All of them are going to be clowns. Hunter, how you doing out there? And you know, Coda, Coda, talking to you. Glad you're here. I love it. So, how long have you, uh, real quick? How long have you been the captain now? You, you're the new captain, right? Oh, uh, officially, I don't know. About 15, 20 minutes. <laughs> uh, unofficially and kind of working on it, you know, it, it's been in and out of the works for a while, drama included or not. Everybody's been talking about it, so I've just sat here relatively quiet, you know. That's good. Cool. Well, how, did, how did you get elected? You got like the loudest horn or something, or what? No, oh. <laughs> It's, it's a long story. <laughs> yeah. He uh, was uh, the last one on the car. You know, uh, I started playing. They brought me in. We started doing this. We grew everything. There's been a lot of drama lately. We're not a airier laundry kind of team. We're just a pick up your socks, pick up your underwear, and move forward kind of team. And that's how, you know, that's how it's – that's how we're going to play it. So – I just, it, it, it fell to me a little bit. A lot of it was like Bubbles is my daughter, Oopsie's my daughter, and obviously Rojo's wench. She's she's my mistress. My wife doesn't play paintball. So you know how that goes, but you know, just kidding. He's my wife, but she's like, no, no, no dinner. You got a cat in the garage? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm sitting in the living room right now, the, the living room that I never use. So, oh, oh that, that's what I mean. But after saying that, you might be in the garage tonight. Oh, oh definitely. Oh, yeah. I'm taking all the paintball guns off the couch tonight. That, that, <laughs> that was the end of that. But no, but I mean, I play with the family and I just do what I do. And, and I came on and, and since I play so much and I've all, I've, I've known Krusty, uh, I, I knew Roxilla from the very beginning. Uh, it, it one, one of Krusty's first scenario games was a game that I wrote. 20 something plus years ago. So I was doing that long before that was something that was something that people were doing. And I saw the crusty and the clowns came over and Rockzilla and Pogo, who were the captain at the time and the owner, everybody knows rock. They used to come over and want me and I used to play with Argent Forest. I know you Argent Forest with John Smith and all those guys. Mm -hmm. I was, I was on that team and they used to come over and they wanted to go third faction. And they're like, Hey, this game is just, all messed up. It ain't going right. You want to go third faction and ruin the whole thing. And at the time I was like, Oh, that's not, not, not cool, but you're the clown. So, okay, let's do that. And that's how I met rock and, and Pogo and, and all the guys. And from then on, I've, I've always played with them, always supported them. And that's when they, when they reached out and they were getting low on players, they, 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 I was the one they reached out to and said, Krusty is a, a friend of mine. He still is. And he wanted, he just said, can you, can you come on over here and do this for a little bit? And I said, that's a really funky thing you're doing. And I got a feeling I'm going to get shot a lot, even bonus balled a lot. But <laughs> yeah, I'll come and do it. And I was right. You do get shot a lot. And you won't get bonus balled. But I get it. You want to play, you want to be the clown? You're going to be the clown. Uh, not everybody likes clowns. And not even because they dislike clowns. I mean, you're, you're playing a role that you better understand what you're playing and be cool playing it because everybody here is – I haven't met anybody that's uncool yet in this sport. I literally, I like everybody, even the people that I don't like, I kind of like. So yeah, there you go. That makes any sense. So there's nobody that I, I, I really have no dislike for anybody or anything. So if you're going to come over here and do this and, and be nutty and get in people's face and, you know, when we say you're poison and go around the wall and shoot somebody, you're going to go do it. You're a clown and then go back to the parking lot, you know, dust yourself off. Yeah. yeah, clean up your horn and get yeah, back out here. Friends. Yep. You know, that, that's why I say, you know, that that's building paintball, though. You know, I, like the story I told about Gumby. You know, uh, the guy is just uh, was so friendly, didn't know me from Adam, came up, jumped up, spent two hours working on my marker instead of out there playing when he drove all the way from L.A. to Sacramento. You know, um, our family loves his whole family. They they know that. Oh, I mean, his family's we're, great. 
Yeah, they're they're coming over Saturday, by the way. So we do it. Oh, is like that right? That. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. So they're they're coming over Saturday. See you then. You know. Yeah. And uh, no, we hang out. We you know, Zach is in uh, Wisconsin. We don't actually drive out to Wisconsin every weekend. So. <laughs> yeah, we don't hold that against him either. So it's okay. But that, I'm that's from, okay. I'm yeah. from Wisconsin, so you know. He's got yeah. cheese curds. Yeah, yeah, yep. I'm a cheese head. There's no doubt about it. So hey, uh, we we love some cheese too. Uh, as Zach has introduced us to a, a lot of it. Some of it is was actually pretty good, and the rest of it was the rest of it. The rest of it. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> so you know, Zach. Um, Zach is the one of the newest members. Um, I seen the picture when you first got uh, taken on to the clowns. Uh, Matter of fact, 180 degree smile. I thought it was fake, but it was actually you smiling. You were so happy. I thought that was pretty cool, buddy. Well, so, it was, uh, it's it's kind of an interesting thing because nine years ago, I passed the clowns at Living Legends, and I said, "Wow, that's the kind of team I need to be on." And I don't remember who it was, but somebody turned to me and said, "Well, you're going to have to move to California if you want to be on this team." And I just me. I was lying. I, we changed that. That might have been and me. so I'm, I'm just like, you know, it'd be real great is if I had a jersey with all the team signatures on it. And that became a running joke. So for nine years, I, I every single time I saw Krusty, it's like, hey, I want one of your jerseys with all the signatures on it. And I called him in February and and I asked him again. And he's like, well, and I said, Krusty, it might just be easier for me to join the team to get a jersey. And there was silence on the other end. And he's like. Actually, we don't, we're not really a California-based team anymore, so that might work. <laughs> you're, welcome. you're welcome. I push that. I push that. You're from, you're so from now California, we have a though, clown. right? Me? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. I was born in Los Angeles, I, I, and I live just still about 30 minutes north of there. Okay. You, know, you guys know Alex there. Gonzalez. You know Alex Gonzalez, right? Twitchy? Oh. Twitchy. Oh, yeah. Oh, I, 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 I could smell him right now just when you – Say his name. I more than know him. His, his, yeah, mention him in his aura enters yeah. the room. Yeah, I know. I know Twitchy on. I don't know if there's six senses. I must know him on eight of them. Yeah, he's. You know, we were. If we you could make it tonight, we were going to put him on in your place. So um, yeah, would have worked. Yeah, I, 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 I should have grown a beard. Oh, I thought you did have one. No, now it's just uh, we're really glad and. This isn't the last clown show I'm going to do. <laughs> it just kind of rolls off the tongue. I like that. Um, this isn't the last clown show I'm going to do. So, you know, when we do some more, we're going to put Alex on. But uh, I definitely wanted to have you on tonight uh, because, you know, everybody talked about you. And, uh, yeah, they said since you come out of your shell, you're a pretty interesting guy. So we thought that was pretty cool. I thought, well, I got to meet this guy, you know. And then, and then Gumby, you know, Gumby is the one that said – Gumby thinks the world of you, so I don't know if you pay him or what the deal well, is. I think the world of Gumby. Gumby Gumby's a good friend of mine, and uh, I don't do a lot of the podcast. You know, I might. I don't. I don't do a lot of these shows, and but whenever Gumby, you know, Gumby, you know, I mean, but or, but or, I mean, love you, bro, and but Gumby, yeah, he's when he says, "Can you be on?" Gumby gets gets my attention. He's 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 a. Uh, <laughs> making me cry. I love Gumby. You know that. Hey, Zach. I love cool you too, too, brother. Zach, you're good too. But Gumby, uh, I love Gumby. I've been Gumby's friend for years, even before this, a long time. There you go, I, I Gumby. You fi too. Finally, we can see your face sure, because bro. you know you got the camel behind you. <laughs> And the horns look great. I, you know, the, it, it didn't look great in yellow, though. T t don't tell me that wasn't a great choice. Look at him. He's he's as beautiful as Oof over here or yeah, over there. Uh, yeah, over I, hear here. He he I, I hear he wears that to work. He's an Ironman. So. Yeah, isn't that right, Gumby? You wore that to work? Uh, actually, I did wear it to Sony Studios when we had our topping off party. Oh, did you uh, really? Simply because I knew they were going to take pictures. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. You know, Rojo, we haven't asked you, you know, everybody that comes on here, we always ask them how they got started in paintball. So, um, you know, you're the new guy in the block. So I'm going to ask you, how did you get All started right. in paintball? Not with the clowns, but in the sport. Itself. No. Uh, 1984, the beginning of paintball, believe it or not, the Sheridan one, PMI one or PGPs. whatever. 
Yep, that came out the same year that Splatmaster came out, or not Splatmaster, uh, Laser Splatmaster Tag. Splatmaster was out too, yep. No, Laser Tag. I believe the Laser Tag came out about that same year. So one year I'd asked my mom, mm. God, if you knew my mom, she was, she was a good, good lady, but we had said, hey, we want that tag thing, that tag stuff for Christmas. And everybody, all of our friends, we all agreed, hey, let's ask our moms and our moms will get us the tag, you know, laser tag. I didn't say the laser part. I just said tag. Everybody else got laser tag and I got a PMI one. So (laughs) no shit. I'm still playing right now, but I was disappointed. I I was like, wait a minute. This is not laser tag, mom. But I went outside. I loaded it. And if you remember those things with the spring you had to cut, you know, because the the, the chrono was probably 450. Yeah. I went outside with a a fresh spring, threw in a CO2, and I shot the bark off of a tree. (laughs) I sat there and I said, holy shit. I ran inside and I called all my friends and I said, do not open your laser tag, whatever you got for Christmas. Don't open it. Tell your mom to keep the receipts. Come to my house. I have something to show you. (laughs) all All my friends came over. I was like, oh, man. Check this. And I live in Los Angeles, and I had a neighbor named Charles. I'm not making this up. Charles is doing life right now in jail for bank robbery. He was that guy. But Charles was cool. But he comes over and he goes, what you got there, David? And I said, oh, you got to see this, Charles. Look at this. I'm shooting the bark off the tree. He pumps it, and he shoots me in the stomach point blank. Boom. <laughs> it just drops me. No mask, no nothing. First time I'd ever been hit by a paintball gun. I was laughing, but... Not really. But I, that was literally Christmas of 1984, or the day after, the day after Christmas, 1984. So that's when I then, started paintball too. It was 84. That's strange. Very good. I think that it came to market like I could. Mom could buy something. That's what happened. You know, that might Very. because of that might because that might because of you, bud. Perhaps. Not Maybe. sure, but. It's, it came very early. 1984 was the first that I remember there was a commercial anything. And, and she found, uh, you know, by, by January 1st, before New Year's, she found a field in California. I, I forget where, but she found it, you know, good for her. So. Yeah, back when I started, yeah, you know, you couldn't, I mean, there was hardly any stores. Uh, I, got, I got my first, uh, uh, it was actually a, a Splatmaster. I got it from Honest John's Gun Shop. You know, and uh, I bought I bought a case of paint. The case of paint back then consisted of twelve tubes. That was the case, mm-hmm. and it was thirty six dollars, three dollars a tube plus tax. Oh yeah. So yeah. And, and, ten, and, the, and they came in the ten round tube. Yeah, exactly right. Yeah, you got twelve of them in the case is what it was. You know, but I had a construction company, so I'd I'd blow through cases of those things, and then when the when the big cases finally came out, we're like. Oh, you know, we couldn't <laughs> believe it, man. <laughs> we did too. People say it's gotten more expensive. I'm like, you don't remember what it used no, to be. No, 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 no clue. Two thousand rounds now. Close. Maybe the markers got ball. more expensive. Yeah, maybe the markers, not the paint. No way. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We still play a lot of pump. We're we're those guys. We do pump or mechanical. We're PBSL you know, does that a lot. Yeah. We You're own everything, right? but you know Todd Whitaker down there. <laughs> yeah, I'll Todd take that Rico. As a yes. Where are you at, Todd Rico? Are you watching this? Yes, I know. I know Todd Rico. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. I you do. know, big PBSL guy. Um, I love Todd. He's he's great. Matter of fact, uh, he hung out with uh, Gumby and Mean Gene from uh, AutocopterParts.com when I was down there in San Luis Obispo. Um, you guys all play together, right, Gumby? Yes, sir. There you go. Autococker Parts. Matter of fact, I got a a shirt somewhere. I don't know. It's behind the other 400 shirts up here somewhere. I have something over there. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Believe me. He's coming so over Gumby. Saturday, too, I hope. Uh, me and Gene, if you're watching, we're having the tequila party Saturday. Be that right there. I haven't gotten around to it. Don't be shooting on it. Don't be. No. You got to watch right the blanket for you. Yeah. You know, you're not, you're not talking a lot tonight, Gumby. You okay? Yeah, just a little bit of lag. That's all. And oh, there you go. Spill, a little spill here and there. <laughs> so well, what's, been new, what's been new with you, buddy? You looking forward to St. Louis? Yeah, actually, I am. It'll be nice. It'll be nice to travel and see you guys again and play some good ball. 
Yeah, you guys just went to a, did you go to a big game in Illinois or something? Yeah, we did Super Game in uh, Indiana. 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 Yeah, that's what it was. Beautiful yeah. field. My God. That yeah. is one of the, the Sherwood Forest, Forest is gorgeous. Is it that's really? Oh, but yeah. It is. Wow. I might have to do that one next year then. Yes. That sounds pretty cool. Did you? Uh, at least play once. Yeah. I know. Who, who the hell owns that field? Smoking Joe. Joe who? Joe Sabak. Joe yep, Sabak. Joe yep. Sabak. That's what I thought it was. Yeah, he's an old-time player, too. Nice wow. guy. Nice guy. Super yeah. nice guy. Yeah, we get to play. Uh, we're doing the WCPL. Um, you know, Bud's on the the band, and uh, Gumby's part of the band. I heard we're that. that. Congrats, Gumby. <laughs> Can yeah, we get him a, a band a, jersey a, that's a, yellow? It's pretty simple. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Bad yeah. jerseys are yellow. <laughs> I wear this because then it looks like I got hair. <laughs> but, yeah, I, oh. yeah, I know. Oh, I know. oh man, I'm, I know. We're all with that struggle right now. <laughs> so, Bud, how did how did how did you get your jersey? <laughs> well, hell, I got this thing probably ten years ago. Uh, well, that's the OG design. I think the uh, what, what was the president about ten years ago? I can't remember that was his either, name. Uh, it was either going to that uh, you're either thinking of Krusty or Pogo or Pogo Pogo Rockzilla Pogo. somewhere in that yeah. you might be in that yeah zone. Yeah, I went out and played a few games, and uh, they gave me a jersey and and kicked me in the ass and shot the shit out of me. But other than that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it was a good, it was a good day. You know? I banned some day. of that behavior. I don't know if I should have or not, but I, I've said you really can't just do stuff like that anymore. But yeah. it was good. I don't know. That was funny. Well, it remember. was good. It was fun. You know, it yeah, makes you smarter. <laughs> well, well, I'm glad you know. That's good. I mean, they, you know. Yeah, Bud called me this morning, and we were talking, and and. <laughs> I told him, I said, yeah, I said, I'm going to have the Psycho Clowns on tonight. And he goes, oh, I said, you want to jump on with us? He goes, oh, yeah. He says, I'll wear my, my jersey. OG and jersey. Then, I, then, I'm then glad then he found it. And I'm, thinking, and I'm sitting there thinking, he's got a clown jersey? And then when I pull him up in the green room, there he is with his clown jersey on. <laughs> and an OG one, too. I would think Krusty be, if there's comments on here, I'm sure Krusty would be chiming in somewhere about now, I would think. That's That's funny. Yeah, no, I got to tell you though, not, Bud, you look right at home in it. You you do. You look good in yellow. I, I am. I am. It's got my name on the back, so they made it for me. So it's it's pretty cool. I I, I was um, I was in tears. You know, I was emotional. <laughs> well, that happens when you're wearing a clown suit. You know. Oh hell yeah! Oh yeah! yeah. You gotcha. It's also the guys that have one at a time grabbed the torch have all been. They've been real careful with who they've been, and everybody's been somebody worth shaking hands with or has really made an effort to go places and do things. And I felt the same way just coming over here. I mean, I, I, I wasn't always a clown. I'm not one of the original ones, you know? So I've always felt that way, too. I He, he kind of nailed it. That was a good sentiment there, but Well, you know, that's just like, you know, we've got uh, our team is the band. And, uh, you know, it's made up of um, – we put people on the band that, that we feel are good for the sport of paintball. And, you know, Bud's on the band. Uh, uh, Dan Colby is. Bill's oh, yeah. on the band. Uh, Tim Schloss. Uh, you know, we got some some great people on this. Ross Alexander from Line SI. And uh, Gumby. And the reason Gumby got put on the band is because, you know, we just watched him at the, at the, the big games and, and the tournaments and stuff. And how he handles himself, you know, because I'm really into building a sport. And I think the clowns that you guys really do it. I mean, first of all, you're catchy. If, if you can't see a clown walking through the crowd, <laughs> then something is wrong with you. That's all, that's then, all I can say. And then know? be good to the kids. Make yeah. the kids want to play. Catch one. Don't, don't, don't overshoot. Don't beat up on them. Bring them with you if you can. Make yep. the kids want to play. Right. Well, yeah. It's about attitude, though, too. You know, I mean, like I say, you can be the best player in the world, but if, if you're a jerk, you do nothing for our sport, period. You know, and uh, the guys that we put on the band, that's why we're so very, very touchy about who goes on on the band. And I'm sure it's the same way for you guys, the clowns, because everybody that I've met 
that has been on your team, I've absolutely liked right off the bat. Um, they're, they're just very courteous, uh, great players and, and fun to be around, you know, um, you know, and Zach, Zach's a news one, you know, Zach's not a band member, maybe yet, you never know, but you know, Zach is a, I could be the God, youngest one. Zach is a clown. <laughs> hey, that just took you off the list by saying that right there. <laughs> Where's that? Throw that out of here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, what do we, what do, we don't tease anybody about age on this one, do we? The buddy? first time <laughs> that I put on a clown jersey and walked onto a paintball field, uh, there were a, it was me, one other good, like experienced player, and all rentals. And I didn't know how to go easy on the rentals, but I, I, I threw, I emptied a pod, and then I took the pod and I yelled grenade really loudly and just chucked the pod at them as hard as I could. <laughs> It hit the front front of the bumper and they scattered like roaches. <laughs> <laughs> and they keep coming back to the field, and every single time I see them, they're just like, "That was the funniest thing ever." <laughs> and that's why I wear this for stuff like that. Well, that's why you're a you wear that, Zach. You wear that because you're a nut and you're likable. You're a likable <laughs> nut. That's two pretty big. We're not gonna. We're not gonna try to get a sixty man to a hundred man team in the future. We're 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 gonna go the opposite direction. I, I, we've talked about clown caps. Like get to the point we've had enough. We got enough clowns. I mean, no. do you really? How many clowns you really need? You really? You don't need a. We're not trying to win nothing. We don't. You know, I don't think yep. you need a hundred clowns. I. I don't know. I'm we don't have a big enough car. Yeah, what, yeah, what you want to do is you just want to keep it so that it's an elite group. You know, that's like what we do with the band. Same thing. Keep it, keep it very, very elite. You know, when I, when I talked to Zach earlier about being on, he goes, yeah, he says my clown name is Oaf. So I text him back. I go, well, how do you spell that? And he texts me back. He goes, two O's and an F. <laughs> Does he explain that to you or where it came from? <laughs> no, but I'm sure oh, you're going to oh, tell oh, us. Oh. Okay, I, I'm, I'm telling the story, Zach. If you don't want to jump in, I'm telling it. Yeah, that name came. I, I'm not sure if you know this, but Gary Baum is also a clown. He's one of the original clowns. Okay. So paintball photography is Gary Baum is a clown, and he's never been. He's let us hire people, name clowns, do what we do, just kind of travel. He'll talk to me, and he'll, you know, he'll, when I see him, we'll talk one on one. But he doesn't really. He's never given us much suggestions or what he'd like or direction. He heard that we were talking about bring, bringing Zach on, and he said, we should name that boy Oof. Oof means out of focus. For those of you who don't know, oh, oh, Zach is himself a photographer, too, and he is one, which is funny because we brought him over, and I said, you got to stop taking pictures of me, dude, please. So, but he's a photographer, too, and Gary Baum himself actually reached out and said, we got to name that boy Oof. And I was like, this is – I'm not saying no to you and – Everybody wants him. Okay. Oh, yes. Done. Over. Got it. Oof, it yeah. is. So, <laughs> it, it makes a little sense. Hey, Gumby, and how right, long have you been a clown? Uh, two years? Three? Two years? Somewhere in there? I don't know. Feels Not like long enough. Long time. <laughs> Probably more. I've known, no, more I've known Gumby. I knew Gumby and, and Mean Gene for quite a while so they've known us even before i was a clown so they knew me back in the argent days with smith and all those guys so they've known oh, me there you go y yeah, yeah it's been so, a while yeah. i love it oh zach did you put zach that together looking in the mirror away. or something that is so cool this Before is this is sweet tooth from twisted metal <laughs> <laughs> that is so yeah, cool yeah I got one of these since I got a face I had made. What do you think of that mask, bud? Uh, it's cool. I, uh, <laughs> the, the nose got to be a little bit bigger, though. <laughs> <laughs> what do you just think of that, Bill? Kid, just kidding, Jack. Rojo's traveling. <laughs> oh, I know. I got my little staff that I follow. I don't know how to line it up here. <laughs> you got to walk on a plane with that. That's That'd be so I cool. wish they'd ah. let me. They won't. But... <laughs> What if I could? You'd walk on a plane, but they'd be carrying you off. Yeah. I walk around this <laughs> and, and handcuffs. That's like, what I mean. 
I love it. That's cool, man. Very cool. Hey, Gumby, where's your mask? Oh, uh, mine's there. actually downstairs. Oh, man. It'll get it's, it's being retrieved at the moment. Yeah, I don't think cool. he wants to go downstairs. He's hiding. Go no, it's, it's going. It's, is it's Julie its there? Way. Gumby, is uh, Julie there? Is Julie there? Yeah, she just ran out. Who did you think is getting the mask? Oh, uh, yeah. Boy. yeah. <laughs> Who do you think was throwing a she... towel at me when I spilled my soda? He said, oh, we're oh. getting the mask right now. That that had Julie written all over it, Fred. That had Julie written all over it. <laughs> I love it. When she comes back, put her on so we can say hi to her. Got She's, uh, you know, Bubbles. she is she is really Where's great, the girls? I got to tell you. Aaron, Aaron. Very, very good lady. And uh, like I say, you know, Gumby, like I said earlier, man, you got one of the coolest paintball families that, that I've ever met. Oh, there you go. A little closer. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I love it. That's the one I know. <laughs> that make it a horn is kind of a rite of patch. She's hiding. Ritual. She's hiding. That's the back of her head. I I can see her. Hey Julie, what you doing? <laughs> Being the errand girl like I normally am. <laughs> You're great. We, we hiding in talking, the dark. We were just talking about how cool you are. Thank you. I love you us, too. Not, not Gumby, but the rest of us. No. <laughs> no, I know you met me. I know you met me. I love you too. Right on, sweetie. Yeah, we were just talking about, I think that you guys have one of the coolest paintball families out there. Um, it, it just, you know, when I went down to the, the game in uh, San Luis Obispo, it was so cool the way you guys were set up. You had the kids there. And then I seen the pictures of you guys back in Chicago when you went back to the Indiana game. Uh, I got to tell you, my hat's off to you guys. Really are. You know, awesome Rojo's family. made it made it all about family, and I think that's what got all of us into it. Besides, you know, my husband being crazy, but it's ah! all about family. <laughs> it's all about family and the kids, and yep. you know. But that's what. If it wasn't for Rojo right? and and everything that he's done. Yeah. Thank you. You know. Much. It's true. Yeah, this, yeah this I see. You know, family. I see a lot of the stuff that you post on online and stuff. You know, and a lot of the stuff you see and and a lot of the things that you do on there. You know, that's also great for paintball. That makes people a lot of people that might never know anything about paintball get interested enough to want to know about paintball. That's what brings people into the sport. Yeah, especially because they know what I'm a chicken. And they're like, you play paintball? No, I get shot and try to follow everybody with my camera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you get shot pretty good doing that. Yeah, yeah. But I don't follow no Oof because that's too dangerous. Mm -mm. <laughs> nope. I'm not well, that I just, brave. I just think it's so cool what you guys do, and, and especially you and uh, Stefan, what you guys do for the kids. I think it's uh, absolutely terrific because, you know, your kids will carry this on. Probably a lot longer than we will, obviously. Bingo. That that's the that's yeah. Somebody's that's gotta do ticket. this next. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, so we've gotten that. some of the boys' friends involved. We've actually got three, no, five coming to play with all of us at Decay. One's coming from Canada, one's coming from back east. So it's kind of cool. Very cool. When is that one at? Um, Decay is October second. First and second? Mm -hmm. um, it's at um, SC Village. Yes, yeah. SC Village. I, I'm not sure the exact dates, but that's at SC Village. It's either end of September, early October, somewhere in that ballpark. I don't want to get that. It's October. The, this year. Good. Well, they used to have it in June, and everybody would have heat strokes. Remember that? And then yeah. July, yeah. August, September. All right. So California is October now for, you know, and it. It'll only be, you know, 96, 97 in October. There you go. Well, I hope it's early October. If it's real early October, I'd like to come on down and do it because I have to take off for St. Louis. I think we're taking off there. Oh, my on, God. Uh, you're such a pervert. The ninth or something like that. <laughs> I think he was talking to you, Fred. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's not a problem. <laughs> Where's my horn? No horn. I, I think it sounds like already got horned. <laughs> Oh, I only, I only live I only live twenty minutes from there. Yeah, from SC. 
Yeah, I might I might come down and do that if it fits like the you know in early October because I'm taking off for St. Louis around. Uh, I, I think, think the it is the first and second. First and second. Yeah, yeah I think. Yeah. So. I, th I, I think it <laughs> is because my birthday is the fifth. So. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be a hundred. I'll be a hundred and five years old. Oh, there you go. Happy for happy birthday. Yeah. yeah, we're we're pretty close. And mine's the twenty fourth. So. Uh, Gosh, we're only nine days apart. Yeah. No, the fifth, Something eleven like days apart. How? Wow. What? What is yours? The twenty fourth. Twenty fourth of September. Well, that's twenty. Let's see. Yeah. Uh, Nineteen nine. days. Nineteen days apart. Yours is the fifth. Yeah. Then it'd be probably twelve <laughs> yeah, days. Hey, hey, you gotta go like this. One, two, three, four. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, yeah it'd be. It'd be, it'd be 12 days, or it would be two hands and four thumbs. Oh, yeah. well, well, work two, on that. Two, work on that and then two, call me later. Two hands and three. <laughs> oh, no, never mind. Two thumbs. <laughs> Twice. You said four thumbs. Yeah, there oh, you, you, you missed that. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe like 16 fingers. Four. Poor Gumby's yeah. up there going, what the hell is going on? Yeah, we lost I, Gumby at four. I, I'd, I'd have to round up at least five carpenters with those kind of numbers. Yeah. <laughs> we lost him when we said thumbs. Yeah. Well, mine's all smashed. Gumby, you're going to go down and play that one, right? At SC? Yeah, I can do both. I'll be doing uh, the uh, decay and then... Uh, Tim's tournament's like at the end of the month of October, isn't it? No, it's the 15th and 16th. No, oh, it's the weekend out. It's two weeks after, yes. yes. Yeah. yeah. I, I might come down out. and do that with you guys. Bud, if I come down and grab you, you go there with me? Oh, yeah. yeah. You're gonna, you're, you can even you're stay down, here because gonna, we're like 10 minutes down the road. Yeah, if you're going to come down here, you're going to stay with me anyway. So, yeah, we'll go together. Yeah, I'll so. come down there. I think I'm going to come down and we go do that. I think that'd be a riot. We play oh, alongside yeah, the clowns. Yeah, absolutely. Well, yeah. yeah, for sure. Always. Well, don't, yeah, they might shoot you in the butt, but that's okay. Yeah. Well, we're going to make tacos. Well, well they, if they're going to shoot you in the butt, they got to be pretty damn so slow. It'll be okay. <laughs> we're going to do tacos. See, because you'll know be running way out in front of them. You know? Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> I'll I be pushing the, the wheelchair. Yeah, there you go. I, I, if I we used the Bud last Orr year. as our point man all weekend, nobody would say anything. They'd be like, "That, that, that makes sense." Of course they would. Yeah, I'd be like, oh, "Just yeah, walk, until, walk until you draw fire. It's easy." <laughs> oh, I love it. I, I think that'd be fun to come down there and, and hang out with you guys and do that uh, for a day. They're oh, a blast. They're a blast. Yeah, let's I'm do that. I, I want to bring a lot of people out there this year. I it's mean, a it's, two, it's a two day thing, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Saturday yes, sir. to Sunday deal. We'll yeah, I think, yeah, I think I'm going to gather up my wife and uh, we'll come down there. And uh, she doesn't bang away, but old Bud and I will. Yeah, we don't care okay. about getting a crap shot out of us. So no. we'll have plenty of wives with us that are looking for things to do and are hanging out. So even the wives that don't play, we, we got you know Julie. She, Julie doesn't play, but she'll be there. I'm sure. You know, cool. I'm cooking. <laughs> <laughs> my my wife went to SC Village and. In 88 to uh, uh, 91, you know, she went every weekend, you know. And when I told her she didn't have to go no more, it took me five years to even get her to even look at the place. So, <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but I think she would come out. She would come out. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Kay. yeah. Kathy's cool. I, I know Sherry loves, loves hanging out with Kathy and Terry Schloss. Uh, what a great group. Diane Kurtz. Oh, yeah. yeah, when we travel, we got the band, uh, the girls, uh, our wives, they all kind of hang out together. They all go shopping while we go out and play paintball. They, so, they, spend, they spend a lot of money. So get I was ready. just going to say, we get broke <laughs> twice. First paintball. The, the casinos the love them. <laughs> I don't know it would be more expensive, my wife going shopping or my wife sitting there shooting paint with an electronic marker. <laughs> Ooh, I'm yeah. not sure. Uh, yeah. Well, she, it, it, they hang with our group, it's going to be shopping, believe me. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You yeah, know. Okay, exactly. cool. yeah, but I'll keep it right on the field. Uh, I love it. Well, I'm going to look forward to doing that now. 
I think that's going to be very, very cool. Man, Bill, I wish you could come down and do that with us, too. Yeah, that would be, that's pretty damn close to the WCPL. I'll probably be at Tim's Field working. So. Yeah, you guys you guys are just about got that nailed down right now, don't you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it, it, it's almost ready. Gum, so. Gumby will be there, right? Yeah, gonna Gumby's going to be there. Oh, you All should right. see our, you know what our team is, bud? Oh, check this oh, out. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> What's going on, Tim? Hey, Bill's going to be at my field work, and I'll come out. <laughs> hey! <laughs> no. Come on out, brother. Come on out. Yeah, I know. I'll, just try to, I'll give him the keys, and I'll come out and have some fun. <laughs> right on. I love it. Maybe yeah, we can get it done early, and then Greg can just run it, and then we we'll, we can be in California. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. See, he's trying to hit a ride with you out here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he come up with me. He said he was going to be there working, so that means I don't have to be there. <laughs> I love it. What do, you, what do you think of these clowns, Tim? I love them. Hmm. I'll tell you, I, you know, I know Zach barely, and I know Gumby pretty good. And Gumby, if he's representative of what that team's about, they're first class because he is my favorite. Yeah, he's a great guy. <laughs> And we were no, to say, he hasn't no. said much, man. You know, Julie came on, his wife, she talked more than Gumby has this, the whole show. Oh, I thought that was his daughter. <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh, man, I got it. You are the best loser I know. <laughs> He's not even on the camera. I can see the brown on the nose. Put that out, yeah. Uh, yeah, Bud, Bud's even got his clown suit on. Looks pretty I good, huh? That. See that, old man? That's great. Man, you should see it. We got 12 inches of rain last night. The field's like, the, it's like a foot of water on the road to get into the place. 12 inches of rain? Last night. So we're, it's the record rain we've had in one night ever in, the, in St. Louis. God, that's like, what, six years for us out here, huh, guys? Oh, my God. Yeah, see <laughs> you it, didn't man. get any. Yeah, we couldn't even get into the field today. <laughs> Wow, that's amazing! Yeah, you got you got one of the best fields I've ever seen. I can't uh, wait for the people to go in there to see that. Yeah, Incredible. it's coming along pretty good. Yep, I told Bill that you got the trophies, and yeah, you like them. Yeah, no, they're beautiful. No, the trophies. We got the medals. We got the rings. We got everything, man. Thanks, thanks for your help in that. And yeah, stuff looks really good. Yeah, I can't, I can't not wait for that tournament. I just. Uh, and Bud and I are going to go down. Man, if you could come out there, that'd be so cool. Bud and I are going to go down and uh, play at the K Nations down there at uh, SC Village on the first and the second, or second yeah, and third, yeah. something like that. Anyhow, God, that'd be cool. Hey, I got the I got to play paintball car on TV three times two weeks ago. Oh, did you really? Yeah, we got a first, a second, and a third. That's Tim's race car. Tim uh, sponsors uh, a race car. Hey, you spend all your time running around now. You ever spend any time at the field, or is that just yeah, Greg's yeah, job? Yeah, yeah, no, no, Greg, Greg runs it. I mean, I'm working on the, the tournament field, but uh, I'm leaving. Uh, I'm leaving Friday to go racing again. I'll be gone for another ten days. Wow, lucky guy, man. Very yeah, cool. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Well, hey, listen, I'll let you get back to the guys. I just, you know, you got a cool bunch of guys on there, man. Every one of them's a winner. I just, just, you know, I just can't. Uh, can't wait till I get to play when they're playing out there again. Well, we love you, Tim. All right, man. Well, we'll see you guys. All right, buddy. You, you stay buddy. safe here. Love stay high to Terry. Right, I'll do it. Bye. Bye-bye. All right, everybody. That was uh, Tim Schloss, uh, owns Gateway Paintball. Had Tiger Stripe back in the day, and we have the Tiger Stripe coming back out again. So um, we we actually got it, but Tim wasn't happy with it. He wants the exact shades of the, the old Tiger Stripe. So... Uh, the new batches uh, should be here, should have been here a couple of days ago, but it's still floating through customs. So we should get it here in the next couple of days. But uh, it's going to be the authentic tiger stripe. It's going to be just so very, very cool. So, guys, I got to tell you, I appreciate so much you all coming on tonight. Um, Thank you. We kind of kind of blew through our, our hour here. Uh, was Rojo, uh, what's it? Go ahead, Bill. I was going to say that was the fastest hour that's ever gone by, but I think it's because I cleared my desk of parts. Ah, well, between that and these guys <laughs> clowning around, yeah. you know, I mean, it just, <laughs> just poor Gumby, man. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I love the nose, Gumby. Yeah. yeah. That's what I was telling everybody earlier. I said I was going to go. They have a party shop here. I was going to go get a big red hair and a, a big rubber nose. <laughs> 
And then everybody kept telling me I look like a clown without anything. So my <laughs> I was my born body. with both of those. <laughs> <laughs> no respect. No respect. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah, yeah. Rojo, I appreciate it. So I'm very, very glad yeah, I, you, I met you. you. I want you to, uh, you do, you know? yeah, I want you to uh, friend me on thank Facebook you, so, we, so we can hook up and uh, talk a little bit. And then uh, I want to sure. come down and do that at uh, SC Village. At SC Village. Uh, oh, yes, I'll come sir. down and grab Bud and Bud and I'll swing over there and we'll go out and we'll have a good time. I think oh, it'd be, be pretty awesome. cool. So I'm going to let you say goodbye to everybody. Bye, everybody. Thank you, everybody. If, you know, Thank, thanks good. for being on. Thanks, thanks for having me on. You know, thank you for having me on. Absolutely. Well, I'm looking forward to Hi, meeting you face to face. Looking forward to having you on, on again. <laughs> Bye, Gumby. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Bye, Bill. I, I love this. I love Bye. this clowning around. <laughs> Right on. Take it easy, buddy. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Right on. He's a cool guy. You know, Gumby, you were right. Gumby says he he, he says you're gonna like Rojo. Rojo's a cool guy. You called it, buddy. Absolutely. I love it. All right. Oop. Oh, oof. oof. Sorry. Oof. It should oof. be oops. But any. <laughs> All right, Zach. <laughs> You're next, buddy. I'm going to say goodbye to everybody. But first, I want to thank you so much for coming on tonight. Um, I appreciate it. And I, I know you got to be proud uh, to be with the Clown Squad here. They're they're a great group of people. It, hey, it took a long time, but I'm happy to be here. Hey, Oof, I like that smile of yours. Keep it up, man. <laughs> That's a for sure. I'm not joking around. I love it. You always got a <laughs> smile on. There's something wrong with that. I <laughs> oh, love you, brother. Yeah, what are you sitting on? Anyhow, go yeah. ahead and. Uh... <laughs> I know his eyes rolling a little bit, so I'm yeah. not sure what he's doing. <laughs> oh, my oh, God. Yes. So much for the kids' show. <laughs> All right, Zach, I'm going to say goodbye like a, to everybody. It's like a rope pulled. <laughs> <laughs> the string broke. Yeah, but thanks a lot for being on tonight, oh, no, my friend. No. <laughs> Bye, everybody. <laughs> Gonna keep it simple, huh? <laughs> oh, great. You have a good evening, people. Zach. You take See it you easy, later. my friend. Bye, bye. Okay. Zach Armbuckle, everybody. He's a, you know, Gumby. He's a great addition to the clowns. He's a, hey, he's hey, a hey, Gumby. good guy. Hey, Gummy, you, you need to gargle with something tonight because you talk so much, you know? And you're so Yeah, I know. Sore, you know? I know. I just can't keep my mouth shut, you know? <laughs> I flap my gums all day long. Oh, yeah, man. Love you. Well, you, you were right about Rojo, though, putting him on. That was very cool. And I already knew Zach. I knew Zach was going to be a, a great interview. Zach's a kick in the butt. They're all so. great. Yeah. <laughs> But, hey, I appreciate you being on tonight, Gumby. Even if you had to use your wife's phone, I, I think it's very, very... No problem. I'll be a little more prepared next time. <laughs> yeah, we, yeah, yeah, we'd like to get you a little bit more in the conversation because, you know, you're about as entertaining as they come. So, but, but, you know, hey, Julie made up for it. Boy, she, I mean, you tagged off to her and it was great. Yeah, it's, we compliment each other. You do. You, yeah, got, you do. Yeah, you do. You got you got one of the best paintball families I think I've ever met, and what you and Julie do for your kids is phenomenal. There's got to be a bigger word than that, but I'm just going to go with phenomenal because I think that uh, you raised your kids so good, and you made them such good players and such good people that I, that when we finally right. check out, they're going to be there to carry on for us. Oh, absolutely! I appreciate the words. It it means a lot coming from you. Well, it, it's easy to say because it's the truth. You know, I I watch everybody, you know, and I, I, I've watched you and I you 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 had my attention a minute. You spent two hours working on that damn marker for me that was so froze up and didn't even know me, just jumped right in. You and Roman, God bless his soul. Um yeah. you guys, yeah, uh, you guys jumped right in and took over. And I ever since then you've had my respect. And then to meet the rest of your family, I could see why your family is that way too. So very cool, my friend. Much appreciated, sir. I'm gonna and let's it, say goodbye to everybody. Oh, bye. Bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. Another we'll... simple one, gosh. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll see you guys here eventually somewhere along the lines. You know? well, I'm hoping to come down to, to that uh, Decay of Nations. I think that would be a lot of fun. Uh, hook up with Bud and hook up with you guys and just go have a great time. Absolutely. Absolutely. Def definitely looking forward to St. Louis. We got a pretty good team, my friend. That'll be fun. It'll be nice to go back. Uh, St. Louis is a beautiful place, and I'd it, like to spend more time there. Yeah, well, you know, Good actually, night. you know, you, you've got you, me, Bud. Um, we've got uh, uh, Marcus Davis and Bart Farmer from England. And uh, Jocko is going to play with us. And Mean Gene. I, I mean, we got a terrific, terrific team. So I look to do pretty good there. And then, we, you know, Bill's the ref. So we won't have Bill. We won't have Hell. And we won't have Tim. So all we can do is hope we get the other field. <laughs> <laughs> yeah right on all right gumby you have a good evening buddy all right thank you sir you guys all have a good night and uh we'll see you guys again and have fun you guys all later. stay safe all right see you, gumby. later brother take care what a great guy huh i mean <laughs> he's I, a hell ever of a since worker. i met him he's just been first class all the way and yep. then, then his family and everything god just uh he he I helped pack great, up the great museum. Guy. Great guy. He knows how to pack guns. I mean, he was nonstop. Oh, he's a player. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, oh, hell yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you don't let that suit fool you. <laughs> well, you're <laughs> laughing. He's smacking. Take my word for it. <laughs> yeah, years ago, I think it was like 2005 or so. Uh, it was the team captain of the of the, of the Psycho Clowns. They were at Oklahoma D-Day, mm -hmm. and I told my guy down there that was in charge of those tanks guarding uh, the beach that was down there, I said, you know, we're not taking any surrenders. And him and the referee come walking up the hill from that beach with a white flag. And my buddy called me on the radio and said, hey, we got the, the clowns down here, and they're wanting to discuss, you know, surrenders. Uh, so I walked all the way down there from the airport. You know, because I didn't have any tanks with me at the time and climbed up in the tank and grabbed hold of the machine gun and mowed them all down. I said, no surrenders. I turned around and walked back up off the field. <laughs> They're all looking at each other like, what the hell is that? You know, so, said, no quarter. You know, I told them right there in the beginning, no quarter, you know. I love it. <laughs> I love That's it. cool. That's cool. <clears throat> Well, Bud, thanks a lot for jumping on tonight, buddy. Um, you know, I know everybody loves seeing you on there, and and seeing you with the with the jersey on is just uh, that's priceless. Well, thank Absolutely. you for inviting me, man. Uh, I appreciate it, and love you guys. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'll talk at you later. And uh, had a great show, great people. Can't ask for anything better. Like normal, you know, you're <laughs> always got the best, man. I I love so, you, brother. I really do. Uh, same here. You tell right. Kathy I said hi. You do the same. All right, bye. brother. Bye-bye. Right. Bye-bye. Yeah, I don't have to tell everybody who that was. I mean, jeez. <laughs> but or I got it. Tom Day. <laughs> that name just, uh, <laughs> that's just paintball, period. Yeah. Yeah, I should change his middle name and just make it paintball. Bud paintball yeah. or <laughs> I, I think it, that's got a ring, kind of rolls off my lips. I like that. Yeah. And I might talk to him about that. Yep. <laughs> Pretty good show, Billy. Yep. It was, it was fun seeing Gumby and everybody. So hadn't yeah, seen well, Zach in about, I don't know, a year probably. But Great, great group. You know, next week we got the PBSL guys on. Yep. So that's going to be a lot of fun, too. There's some great, great guys. So I'm looking forward to that. Have they have they had any tournaments since they were on last time? Or Yeah, they have, they've had uh, two of them. And they've got another one coming up. That's what we're going to oh, wow. discuss. So Heck yeah. should be Wait. pretty cool. All right. Well, see everybody. All right, Billy. <laughs> All right, buddy. <clears throat> this is Mr. William Bailey. Bill's on with me every week. And uh, I just want to thank everybody that was on tonight. And I want to uh, particularly, I want to thank all our viewers. Um, you know, you guys, uh, you viewers mean an awful, awful lot. Not just to me. Uh, you mean a lot to me, but to, to the people that come on and to the sport itself, you kind of just show that, uh, everybody, the interest in it, you know, the more interest that we take and we put out there, the more interest people are going to want 
to come and join us and, and be part of paintball. And that's how we make paintball grow. Remember, we all work together to make the sport grow. And we're doing it. You jump on board with us, man. I mean, first of all, you're going to have a lot of fun hanging out with us, number one. But number two, you can know that you have worked very, very hard to make a sport grow. Something that we absolutely love. So, guys, ran a little long again. So sorry. Next week, PBSL, I want you to tune in. But until then, till next Tuesday evening, 7 o'clock Pacific time on Facebook on Flag Pole Productions, please play hard, play safe, play fair, get out there and play paintball. Good night, everybody.